The most common questions coming through our team here at HPIM is on wiring, as this is very different to any heating system you may have encountered if you're not experienced in air source heat pump installations, especially the Daikin units. Within the Go Canvas app is not only schematics for your pipework installs, but also the wiring diagrams needed to complete these installations. We also have a range of wiring booklets for you to follow, and any deviations from these instructions could damage the equipment, so please follow them carefully. We're gonna start with the small consumer unit that you will be sent with your pack. The consumer unit will also come with the MCB and RCDs required for the job. It is the electrician's responsibility to fit this and correctly size the cable required to get to the heat pump, where the rotary isolator or isolators, in some cases, must be installed within one meter of the outdoor unit. The electrician must also provide us with a building regulations compliance certificate and minor work certificate for that work. The Dakin monoblock units can consist of up to three power supplies, one for the main power, one for the immersion or booster heater, and another for the backup heater. When wiring the outdoor unit, our main power supply is located at the X1M terminal. And here you will see the live, neutral and earth connections. If you have a three phase unit, you will see the three line in connectors here too. This is also where we will have to connect our temporary power supply we spoke about earlier before turning on the unit. If the monoblock you're installing contains a backup heater, then we are looking for the connection labeled X9M. And our last power supply is for the immersion heater. And as having hot water is an optional extra, you will receive a K3M contactor kit within your materials pack. The K3M contactor fits within the outdoor unit in its label position and comes complete with the fixings to do so. From here, we then connect the incoming supply to one side of the contactor and then run our cable to the immersion heater from the other side. You will also notice that there is a fly lead with a plug labeled X13A. This plugs into the main PCB next to the contactor at the corresponding X13A labeled pins. So that's our main power supplies, the outdoor unit, but what else do we need to connect? Well, next up is our cylinder thermistor. The thermistor comes in a pre-wired length. We will look at the thermistor in more detail when we look at the cylinder wiring, but you will notice that the plug end is labeled X9A, and this plugs into the PCB, also in its corresponding place. If we have an ESBY valve on the system you're fitting, then you will need to connect the three wires from the valve to the outdoor unit. We need to find the X2M contactor block at 14A, we'll need to connect the brown wire for the permanent live. 13 is for the blue neutral cable and 12 is our switched live. If you're in a larger property with a secondary return for hot water, you will find connection one for the neutral and two for the live to the bronze pump at this location. The Dakin monoblock will require the MMI user interface connecting to the outdoor unit also. On the MMI, you will see a plus 12 volts, minus 12 volts, a P1 and P2 connection. These are all connected to the X5M outdoors. Positive 12 volts to number 15, negative to 16, P1 goes to 11 and P2 goes to 12. If the Dakin Madoka thermostat has been designed into your job, then this can either piggyback off P1 and 2 at the interface or wire directly back to 11 and 12 at the X5M connector in the outdoor unit. Any third-party thermostats, such as the ESI, hives or nests, etc., can be used with the Dakin units, but care must be taken. No switch lives can be taken back to the outdoor unit as this will severely damage the PCB. The Dakin units work on a neutral switching 
and the run signal is a switched neutral link between terminal 30 and 35 of the X2M connector. You will see this information in your wiring schematics, but under no circumstances can a live from the thermostat go back to the outdoor unit. If your installation has two zones, then the secondary thermostat can be connected again to terminal 30 and then 35A. Again, remember, neutral switching, no lives back to the outdoor unit, as this will cause catastrophic damage. The most important thing to do when it comes to wiring is to follow the design, follow the schematics and utilize the wiring booklets as these are a great source of information when it comes to the electrical elements of your air source heat pump installation.